Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some DIY clay ideas. Not only are these DIYs super cute, but they're also functional. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. For the very first DIY, I'm going to be making a yarn bowl. Now I saw this cheap yarn bowl on Amazon and it was for $50. And I was like, you know what? I could make this for way less so i ended up making mine for under five dollars so the first thing you're going to need is air dry clay i got this from dollarama it was only for a dollar 75 i took the clay turned it into a ball and now i'm going in with my thumbs and i'm shaping it into a bowl sculpting a bowl is actually pretty easy the only thing is that it is kind of time consuming so me being the person i am i have this urge of making it look like really really perfect which is why it does take a little bit of time now i'm going to take some more clay and i'm going to make the little legs I'm popping on the legs and once they're in place, go ahead and blend it all in so that they don't come off. So the basic shape is pretty much done. Now you can go ahead and add some details. So I went ahead and I added the face and the ears. Using my needle tool, I'm going to punch a hole at the bottom and this is where the yarn is going to come out from. Now, once you're all happy with it, you wanna let this air dry overnight. Using acrylic paint, you can start painting your bowl. Now you can do any colors that you want. I was actually gonna make this sheep pink, but then I just changed my mind and I kept it white because I wasn't too sure how it was gonna turn out. Um, but yeah, if you guys want me to make like different designs of these yarn bowls, let me know in a comment because I think that could be like a very fun video to film. The final step is to apply gloss varnish to seal in the paint and give it a nice shine. And here is the yarn bowl all completed. For the next DIY, I'm going to be making a Hello Kitty phone stand. For this, I'm using polymer clay, but you can also use air dry clay if you would like. The design idea here is that Hello Kitty is wearing a monkey suit. So I made the head and then for the face, I'm popping in some white polymer clay. Now I'm going to make the body and attach everything together. I'm adding on the face and then of course the red bow and then we're going to take some acrylic paint and add the final details. I'm gonna set this aside for a bit and start working on the base of the phone stand. So I'm gonna take some red polymer clay and start flattening down using my fingers. Now I'm going to make the indent for the phone itself. So I'm using an X-Acto knife. You can also use like a pen or like a pencil, anything works. And once you're happy with it, go ahead and pop Hello Kitty on top. And you wanna let this bake in the oven for about 25 minutes. 
And here is the Hello Kitty phone stand all completed. I am in love with the way this turned out. It's so cute. I'm definitely going to be making more of these for sure in the future. For the final DIY, I'm going to be showing you how to make a tea light candle holder. I'm using polymer clay for this, but again, you can also use air dry clay if you would like. So the design idea for this is that the tea light candle is a campfire and there are two little bears that are making s'mores. So yeah, the first thing I'm doing is just making the little bears. I've made both of the bears and I'm going to bake these in the oven. I will be using a fake tea light candle. So here I have some cling wrap and I'm going to just cover it using it because I don't want the clay to stick on to the candle itself. So yeah, here you can see that I'm using some green polymer clay and I am just going to cover it using the clay. Once you're happy with the shape, you can take out the tea light candle and bake the clay in the oven. Using some super glue, I am going to glue everything in place. And the final step is of course to apply a gloss varnish. And here is the DIY all completed. And that is it for this video. Let me know in a comment down below which DIY was your favorite. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next one.